Antarctica is a wondrous place of many hidden wonders. It is the only uncivilized continent on our map, and by far holds countless illustrious secrets that scientists have been attempting to uncover for centuries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three amazing discoveries in Antarctica. A hidden mountain range discovered under Antarctica ice. The concept of 2.5 miles worth of mountains concealed beneath ice seems like a science fiction concept, but as it turns out, it is very real. A mountain range the size of the European Alps was found in Antarctica with mountains that peak up to 3,000 meters above sea level. This new discovery brings into question how the Antarctic ice sheets truly formed. The mountains were first detected in the 1970s by the Soviet scientist Grigory Gambertsev, but aside from the knowledge of their existence, their measurements and the length were but a mystery, until now. According to the British Antarctic Survey geophysicist Fausto Ferrasioli, when we went out to the ice we knew there was a potentially elevated region there, but we had no idea what it looked like. We now see that this mountain range is the size of the Alps, but it looks like them too. It has all these fresh-looking peaks and valleys. A team of specialists spent weeks on end in the freezing Antarctic conditions attempting to map the mountain ranges. They labelled the range's highest point Dome A, with the temperatures getting below minus 30 degrees Celsius. Special planes with specific magnetic and gravity-sensitive radars had to be used to fly around the ice sheets to give the researchers as accurate data about the hidden mountain range so that they could see the actual mountains themselves without the expensive and near impossible venture to get down to them themselves. Their constructed map reaches 497 miles in length and reaches widths of 248 miles. In comparison to the Antarctic mountains peaking at 3,000 meters, the highest peaks of the famous Alps only go as high as 4,800 meters above sea level. The current scientific theory is that these grand mountains were created due to tectonic plate clashes. However, these should not exist in the Antarctic. Ferrisioli states that since Antarctica is ancient Precambrian, there ought to be no mountains there at all. The nucleus of the Gamberts of Mountains is assumed to be 10 square kilometers east of the Antarctic sheet, which is believed to be the largest ice sheet to exist on the planet before the leading theory was simple and the most logical, that the ice had formed gradually. Now, with these brand new findings, the world of Antarctic researchers has been turned upside down. Ferrisioli states, but the presence of peaks and valleys could suggest that the ice sheet formed quickly. We just don't know. Our big challenge now is to dive into the data to get a better understanding of what happened. Alternatively, in accordance with Robin Bell, who works for the University of Columbia, the temperatures at our camps hovered around minus 30 C. But three kilometers beneath us at the bottom of the ice sheet, we saw liquid water in the valleys. The radar data let us know that it was much warmer at the base of the ice sheet. Ferrisioli believes this is only the beginning, that there is still much left to uncover about the mystic mountain range that follows the Antarctic ice sheet. It is reported that the survey planes that mapped the radar images flew across the range over 20 separate times to ensure they got images from every single angle possible in order to make the map as detailed as it could possibly be. Because the mountains are under the ice sheet, the current plan to proceed with the research is to find the area where the oldest ice lies. Drilling it and digging out the oldest ice will help scientists adequately understand where the mountains came from, how they formed and possibly even make it able for them to figure out why they formed in the first place. These ice cores can also help us understand our planet's history of ever-altering climates and how we have contributed to the production of CO2. Satellite images show near collision of an iceberg in Antarctica. Icebergs can reach colossal sizes. One such iceberg, thought to be the width and length of almost twice the size of Paris, barely managed to evade crashing into a tall ice shelf from which it separated in the first place, according to satellite images. Had the iceberg hit the ice shelf, 
it is fully believed that the collision would have been the catalyst for an even larger iceberg to be freed from the ice shelf and sent into the freezing Antarctic oceans. The fissure on the Brunt ice shelf appeared in November of 2020 and soon cut into the iceberg known as A74. Ever since it split from the Brunt, A74 has been floating close by for months on end due to the intensity of the ocean's flow. The Brunt ice shelf is already severely suffering from greater rifts and fissures. The potential for A74 to hit it only worsens its chances as the separation between the Brunt and A74 was the third worst ice shelf split in the past decade. The European Space Agency claimed that, in early August, strong easterly winds have spun the iceberg around the western tip of Brunt, brushing slightly against the ice shelf before continuing southwards. Had the drifting iceberg hit the unstable ice shelf with severe force, it may have triggered the release of a new 656 square mile sized iceberg. This new iceberg would challenge even the colossal A74 with its horrifically impressive height and width, which, of course, spells out great trouble for our planet. A member of the ESA publicly stated, the nose-shaped piece of the ice shelf, which is even larger than A74, remains connected to the Brunt ice shelf, but barely. If the berg had collided more violently with this piece, it could have accelerated the fracture of the remaining ice bridge, causing it to break away. It does not seem as though the risk is going away anytime soon, and it is sadly believed that the huge chunk of ice is bound to break away at any moment, given but the slightest push will be enough for it to crumble. Brunt, A74, and the prospective new iceberg are being closely monitored by glaciologists everywhere for changes in the ice shelf. The British Antarctic Survey claimed that the Brunt ice shelf was unsafe back in 2017, but the situation has only worsened since then. The temperatures of the Antarctic have risen to a shocking 3 degrees Celsius in only the past 70 years, a truly terrifying thought to consider. Icy glue may control pace of Antarctic ice shelf breakup. Due to a combined effort from the University of California, Irvine, and NASA's Californian Jet Laboratory, a mind-blowing discovery has been made. It is possible that they finally found the reason why an enormous iceberg from the Larsen Sea ice shelf is the size of the whole U.S. state of Delaware. It broke off its parent shelf four years ago in 2017. There exists a material called melange. Melange is a combination of tiny icebergs, sea ice, and wind-blown snow that mixes into a sort of ice glue, which has been found to be the key ingredient for holding ice shelves intact. Unfortunately, if this new theory that melange is vastly responsible for gluing the ice shelves together is correct, then we might have even less time than we assumed before the ice shelves completely melt and cause a worldwide catastrophe. Simply explained, ice shelves are aspects of glaciers that traverse the oceans freely. Though haltingly, they also help reduce the continent's augmentation to the rising sea levels. In the past 70 years, ice shelves have been moving at an increased pace and melting at alarming rates. Cracks appear significantly more often, and as the cracks deepen, they inevitably release more icebergs, which then proceed to melt until the process repeats ad infinitum. Global warming is fully blamed as the reason behind why this is occurring. However, the manner by which the ice shelves are warming are not fully understood by scientists as they are responding to the rising temperatures strangely. Melange might be to blame. It permeates through the crevices of the ice shelves, then it creates a thin layer of further ice that sticks the layers together. UC Irvine professor Eric Rignot spoke about melange. We always suspected that this melange played a key role, but until recently we did not have good observations of its characteristics. When an ice shelf melts by itself, without the melange melting, the gaps in the ice shelf actually lessen. Modeled tests revealed they can fill from wide gaps of 259 feet to only 79 feet in size. Even the thinning of both melange and the ice shelves themselves fills the gaps. And as such, the melting alone is not enough to explain why the ice shelves are breaking up so much in the past decade. And then, the researchers decided to try melting the melange alone and soon therefore after realized that when the melange melts by itself, 
the fissures increase in size at an accelerated velocity. In other words, when the melange melts due to heat, it loses its glue-like properties and the ice shelves begin to break away. This knowledge helps us understand how rapidly the sea levels will rise and how much time we have left before global warming overtakes us. But what do you make of these three incredible discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.